Hey guys, how's it going? Tis back again with another squad builder and as you can see on screen it is an all Brazilian team. This team costs just under the 200,000 coin mark. So well, let's jump straight in and in goal we do have Diego Alves. Fantastic goalkeeper, 90 diving, 90 reflexes. Unfortunately only 73 positioning and 72 handling but don't let that fool you. He is an extremely solid goalkeeper. Bought him for 2,000 coins and uh, very, very worth very, very much so worth every single coin. Uh, at left back, we do have Marcelo, 17,250 coins paid, which is expensive considering he only has 82 pace and 81 defensive rating on the card. 80 pace and 84 dribbling as well, though. So he is extremely good going forward as well as uh, defensively, as you would expect with Marcelo. It kind of goes with the territory. And uh, an extremely good left back to have on your team. Next is Thiago Silva. And as you can see, it says bought for trade offer. Literally, as I was building this team, a friend of mine, Peachy, tweeted me, asking asking how much Thiago Silva goes for on the foot market and uh, literally as I was putting this team together he pulled one in a pack and he was extremely kind enough to lend me Thiago Silva for the purposes of building this squad builder so thank you very much Mr Peachy 80 pace, 87 defending, 83 heading are the standout stats on the card although 71 dribbling and 73 passing again make sure that or prove that he is an extremely good player on the ball as well as uh, defensively in the tackle as you would expect perhaps with Brazilian players a high defensive work rate though which is extremely good considering at the other centre back role we have David Luiz who has a high attacking work rate 27,000 coins paid for David Luiz he's got the Guardian chemistry trait on or chemistry style on which increases his dribbling and defending I bought him with that on uh, so I probably would have used something a little bit different like anchor perhaps on uh, on David Luiz but nonetheless 77 pace 72 dribbling 74 passing 79 defending and 80 heading are his standard out stats and he is just as good as he always has been on ultimate team a truly spectacular player so very very strong extremely good in the tackle fantastic going forward and of course with those headers from corners and uh, at right oh no that's Ramirez at uh, at right back we do have Mike on uh, 3,100 coins paid a lot cheaper this year considering probably considering his pace has dropped from 85 to 79 and of course he's moved from the Premier League to Serie A he's now at Roma 79 pace 79 defending 79 passing with standout stats although he's really really good across the board an exceptional right back very very good indeed a fantastic cheap option as opposed to uh, to Danny Alves as well he, the only thing missing from him is a little bit of extra pace but he has the strength to be able to hold off the player so it's not that important then moving forward into the midfield as you can see it's a 4-2-3-1 formation with uh, this year he's got two cams and well no three cams as opposed to two cams and a centre forward so that's quite a quite a nice change and then there is of course the other 4-2-3-1 which has the left mid and the right mid but we've gone for the uh, the stereotypical one this time Ramirez is the first season DM, 88 pace, 76 defending, 79 passing, 81 dribbling. Again, a fantastic player. His work rates are both high, so he is quite tired towards the end of games, but still a fantastic player. I absolutely adore Rambo as a Chelsea fan. Definitely one of my favourite players in real life and on Ultimate Team. Then alongside him in the defensive role is Felipe Melo, again with a high, high work rate, only 1,600 coins paid, which is fantastic considering his stats are good all across the board as you can see 75 for pace shot and passing 76 dribbling and 80 defending and 80 heading all exceptional stats for a player in that role then we'll move into the forward three cams we've got Kaká in the uh, the deeper role high attacking work rate low defensive although he does like to drop a little bit deeper to pick the ball up sometimes so that kind of defies that uh, 70 pace 84 dribbling 80 shots 79 passing with stand up stats four star weak foot four star skill moves uh, only three and a half thousand coins paid superb player as always Kaká really really is a fantastic player on the ball he just doesn't have the pace that he used to perhaps but uh, still an uh, extremely good central attacking midfielder and the uh, the pace is covered for by Coutinho and Oscar who we have in the remaining two cam rolls played 10,500 coins for Coutinho obviously from Liverpool he's got the maestro chemistry style on him which improves his dribbling shot and passing 83 pace 88 dribbling 78 passing are his standout stats really really tidy player his control is unbelievable his dribbling has taken a little knock since uh, since FIFA 13 but it's still just as good as it was before in game then on the other side we have Oscar 81 pace 85 dribbling 78 passing and 72 shooting again absolutely superb player 14 and a half thousand coins paid worth every single penny his creativity his pace his strength 
he's shot from distance everything about this guy suits that cam roll absolutely wonderfully and then up top on his own is big Diego Costa paid 11,000 coins for him it's really really strong he's got the high high work rates on him so he does drop deep to pick the ball up but of course with the uh, the three cams sat behind him they kind of work as a foursome just kind of interlinking positions and with possession as well so they work they complement each other very very well indeed 82 pace 79 dribbling 78 shots and heading are his standout stats and he is extremely good he's an absolute god on this game he really really is so that is going to round out the squad builder part of this video guys please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already there will be a link to do so in the description and i will leave you now with some clips and some goals at the end so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time.